Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Wolf 4 for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. <clears throat> In the last episode, went around uh, Zora River catching bugs, and today I remembered something exclusive <coughs> to the Wii U version. And that is, when you are out of arrows, you just have to, let's see, how do I do this? Oh wait, no, 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 right? How do I get to the amiibo? There we go. <laughs> you tap amiibo. <clears throat> in this case, it was the Toon Link amiibo. We mentioned this in episode one, and it restores all of your arrows. So, yay. We officially now have our bomb arrows back. And I'm only going to be using that at times when it's just going to be horribly inconvenient, such as now. Otherwise, um, I'm just going to buy arrows. So, yay. So, now that we have done all that, we are going to return back to Upper Zora River. We'll just make a spectacular dive. Spectacular dive. <laughs> and uh, go do that uh, that game again. Uh, now the question is actually, I don't think we're going to do the... <sighs> it eases thing because I think it just leaves you stranded again. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, I think it leaves you stranded again. So we're going to do that last for when we actually want to go back down. But now we are going to go to the other thing. Hooray for other things. I'm gonna go fishing. Let's go fishing. I like fishing. Actually, I actually like fishing. Like real life fishing, not just video game fishing. I have caught fish while fishing in the past too. I love this place. It's like a nice spring atmosphere. Fishing hole. Sinking lures prohibited. Remember the sinking lure from Ocarina? Is it gonna have that same weirdo from the store from Ocarina guarding all this? Oh man, he is. Nope. Got a beautiful girl instead. Hi there. Hey, you. You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name's Henna. Nice to meet you. Hello. You can look on the wall here. There's like Henna and Isa and. That's my oldest sister. That shot is from the day she caught herself a 17-inch Hyrule bass. Her name's Isa, by the way. Make sure you drop by a boat rental shop sometime, okay? Can we just look at all of these? Like, cool. I didn't realize that there was, like, words for them. This is a 22-inch Hyrule bass I caught. It's not very big. It's a fish I spot and caught all by myself. So I took that picture. You know what? It's good to be proud. That's me and the first fish I caught here. A 28-inch Hylian pike. I swear I'll never forget that day. Such sweet memories. We know this guy. That's my older brother Koro in a 25 inch Ordon catfish he caught. That's, uh, he's the only one in our family who's lousy at fishing. He only managed to catch that fish by using a sinking lure. Cheater. So maybe she doesn't like sinking lures because Koro is, did that. Also, Koro is part of their family, that's cool. Also this guy. That's one of Hyrule's legendary master fishermen. Look, he's got a Hylian loach, doesn't he? He may be one of my ancestors. Oh man, good, good references. Of course, I can't exactly prove that. It's kind of just wishful thinking on my part. <laughs> I love it. Got a little hat rack here. That's mine. You know, it's generally considered polite to take off your hat when you come indoors. Nope. Uh, we'll look at this little thing in a moment. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I can actually look at. No, 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 no. 
Oh, wait, wait, you said something new. Tell me, between this picture and the picture of my sister's, which one do you think you- Oh, definitely a henna's photo. Oh, really? You know, I don't care if you're being nice, but I'm still happy. You're too sweet. I promise I won't breathe the word to my sister, so don't worry. <laughs> Another thing about my lazy brother, I ask him to drop by and help out from time to time, but he never does. He can't fish a lick, so he spends his time in the woods talking to the animals. I guess, uh, to, to the animals, I guess. Yeah, he's kind of worthless. The legendary Hy Hyrulean master fisherman. I wish I could have been born in that era. <laughs> um, why are you staring at that photo where the real me is standing right here, silly? <laughs> What's your story? You looking at my sister's picture again? Picture again? Is she your type or something? You have weird taste. Wow, okay. That's your sister. Not some weirdo. Hi. Fine, I'm gonna stare at you then. How you doing? I like her. She has personality. You wanna try some lure fishing? It's 20 rupees. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. Okay. We'll see how this is your first time at all. I'll throw in the guide service for free. Let's get fishing. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, she just kind of shows you around and stuff. I, I actually like really like this. We're on a date now. It's great. Don't tell Midna. Uh, but if you look up there. It's a piece of heart just kind of sitting there. <laughs> What's that? A piece of heart? Oh, whose heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? Look how happy Link is. Don't be shy. This one's yours to keep. Also, I never realized that the piece of hearts actually have a beating heart inside, and that's horrifying. Um, Let's see, where else do I want to go here? I believe there's a few things to catch when we're in here. Heart. Yeah, there's a bottle, but it's not in the water here. I think. It's elsewhere, but, uh, yeah, I mean... What do you want to do? Let's keep fishing. I'll just look around a little bit, at least. Um, this place is very cool, though. Like, I love this fishing hole. I, it might be my favorite in, like, all of Zelda. It's just very, like, calming, and you can see there's some fishy fish over there. Oh. oh no, that was so close, you just failed to hook it. Yeah, being down, okay. Oh. Yeah, we're very close, so it's just kind of... Come on, you stupid fish. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> it's like very calm music here. So I don't think there's anything where I threw it. I want to catch at least one fish, so she doesn't think I'm a horrible disappointment. But she has sass, and that's fun. I don't know. She just has a very she has a very fun personality. I, I just I just enjoy her character in this game, even though like, you know, you barely see her <laughs> outside of this. It's the little things, you know. There might be. There might be fish down this way. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. I don't see anybody. 
Very serene. Bonk. Yeah, that was terrible. It was also kind of terrible. Come on. Come on, fishies. Here, fishy, fishy. Okay. Come on. We were able to land it before. What did it kind of come out like that? Stupid fish, come here. Ah. Almost lost it there. There we go. When your first fish caught using a lure, that's a fish to remember. Congrats, you caught yourself the definitive lake fish, the good old Hyrule bass. 18 inches. Let's keep it. Okay. No, no. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Too fast for you, huh? Uh, I'm gonna call it quits for now. Yeah. I know, I cut our date short, and I'm sorry. Hey, all done? That was fun, wasn't it? I put the fish he kept in the tank. We should fish together again sometime. Okay, cool. Well, let's take a look at the cute little tank here. That's a special fish tank just for my customers. I like to display the fish my customers catch. Of course, I don't want to encourage overfishing, so I only keep the biggest of each fish type that gets brought in. Cool. So the fishing is obviously, like, its own minigame. There's no reward for getting certain fish like there is in... Um, ocarina, like for catching a loach, let's say. But what we can do is go over here. I want to say. Just trying to remember where. The loach is cool, though. Uh, no, I want to, uh, let's head around. Okay, so we have to go to that, like, little land area in the north. You see where there's just, like, a little pool of water? So we can fish something out there on our own. Do not toss empty bottles or cans here. The fish are crying. Keep the fishing hole clean. Yeah. Which means that somebody definitely disregarded the rules and did just that right over here. I don't remember if we have to fish it out or, uh, or we just walk in and... Oh right, I forgot that this place is just like a reflection. This is a very, the, the, it's like a video or something I saw that, that, like, was talking about the physics of how this place worked, and it was really weird. Why, why, Dovey, why? Okay, there we go. Uh, hey! We got ourselves empty bottle number three. So that's fun. 
Uh, I think we can also get from there. Oh, no. It's a different spot. So you can get yourself the sinking lure, the, the one, the, the cheating one, by renting a boat for yourself and going out, like, into that deep part over there or something and fishing it out. And then you can just fish up all the fish you want, and it's fun. But we're not going to do that right now, because I'm not fishing, like... I, there were two things that I wanted to get out of the fishing. One was the piece of heart, and one was the bottle. But there is another mini game that we're gonna do today. It's gonna be a long, annoying episode. And that involves staring at this. Oh, that caught your eye, did it? I made that game, you know. I gave it a real fun name too. Roll goal! Costs 5 rupees to play, but you win 10 rupees if you make it to the goal. Sure. Oh, may God have mercy on our soul. The rules are simple. Roll the glass ball along the path all the way to the goal within the time limit without dropping the ball. You can change the angle of the camera with R, so use that well. Yes. So, let's... See? Oopsie daisy. This is something that you probably want to do with the gyroscope. Uh, gyroscopic controls on it, I should say. You just take all the time, all the time you need. Can't skip. Oh man. This is a great way to spend your rupees, though. So originally, you did this with the Wii mode. I want. I want to see. Can I change my controller? I cannot. What I can do is save and quit and then change the controller. Let me just see if I can. Can I, can I do it from here? Yeah. down the pro controller pick up this I want to see I want to try at least I have not picked up the gamepad as a controller in a very long time oh booted us out that's rude well, anyway I guess that means we get to show something else my neck cracking Oh, it always defaults to this, really? Okay, so I'll show it I'll show it afterward then. Also it's open all day and all night and that's nice. All day and all night. Do 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 Roll goal. I wanna get it uh, I wanna only play like a few of these because there's a, a reward. It does work with the gyroscope here, uh, but it has to be really calibrated. Yuck. This is actually, like, not great. Definitely a lot better than using a joystick, though. Roll go! Guess I'll have to make a new course. Oh, I was just level one one. Okay, so I think you just have to exit and re-enter then. Yeah. 
Man, it's so weird. I forgot how the Wii U gamepad felt as an actual controller. Level 1-2. We want to get to 1-8, I think. Ready to roll, ready to roll! Right, well done!
Oh. 
So she took all my money and we didn't get it. Oh well, so we're not getting the froggy lore. Um, and you know what the fun thing is? If you want to do a completionist of that, which is uh, has no real reward, like there's no hearts or anything for doing it, uh, you can go all the way to stage 8-8. Eight eight. There are 64 courses and we only did seven of them! Haha! -ha. Maybe I'll do it on a stream if I'm crazy. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this episode because I am at an hour in recording and I'm not going to try to do anything else. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye.